Cheers everybody, welcome back to another video and this is something which I'm planning to do not all the time but you know if I, if I see something which kind of like pops a light bulb moment in my head I will pick it up um, and <clears throat> give it a re-review if you know what I mean we have got a beer re-review this one is a beer which is quite close to my heart really because this was one of the pivotal beers um which got me into drinking beer <clears throat> um and we're going back a, ooh, a few years now um i reviewed this i've just watched the review actually of me originally doing this seven year ago uh hasn't even reached 100 views <laughs> seven years ago and um watching it that it was grainy because i didn't have a good camera i was in a bathroom in my old house which is across the road funny enough and um yeah and and looking at it I <laughs> yeah i thought you know under the circumstances and 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 how um I portrayed myself. It was a pretty good review, actually. Um, and because beers moved on over the years, and some of these old school ales might not be here in 10 years' time. Who knows? I don't know how, what's going to pan out. Um, I thought I'd just start to re-review or revisit some beers which were pivotal to me. And looking back, some of you know, it either be the, re the reason why I'm going to redo a beer is either it's pivotal to me, or I look back at the review and I think <clears throat> maybe I should have done better with that beer. So we have got Black Sheep Ale, good old Black Sheep Ale. 1993, they first brewed this. Um, it was once the biggest. Yorkshire beer selling Yorkshire beer in the country. I don't know if it still is 4.4% ABV. I've had it on numerous occasions. Um, and yeah, it, it is you know, for me, when I think of Black Sheep Brewery, I think of this and I think of the Rig Welter, which is on the list to redo. Um, I did do a comparison between the Rig Welter and Old Peculiar uh, a while back. Um, so that's going on about something else. See, I'm going off there again. I should be talking about this. So this is a well-rounded premium amber ale packed with British hops, complex malt blend, which is Maris Otter. Used to be Maris Otter. Um... Dried fruits and a touch of caramel strike the palate, leading to a rich, bitter, sweet finish. Independently brewed in Masham, Massam, not Masham, Massam, Yorkshire, uh, using fresh Dow's Wars and Iconic Yorkshire Square Fermenters. Yorkshire Square Fermenters, that's what Black Sheep was famous for. Um, so, let's crack it open, shall we? I'm looking forward to this. I haven't had this beer literally for years it was a big part of my life for a long time and as your taste moves on and you get a little bit what's the word you get a little bit kind of like um sophisticated in your beer tastes and everything you forget about the beers what you what what kind of like caught you at the beginning, if you know what I mean. And this is one of them. And it's going to pop its load. It's going to repay me by popping its load. It's not. <laughs> Just pour it out like you do. I haven't been to Black Sheep Brewery for a while, even though I've been living near it now for... God, oh, getting on for about 12 years now. Um, so... Last time I was at Black Sheep Brewery was a couple of years ago, so I should really, I should really pay a visit to them. Um, obviously, they've been bought out 
by somebody. I don't know who they've been bought out by now. This is the crown anyway. I'll show you the crown. Like, different from the last review. The crown had like a calligraphy-like um, writing on it. Let's get a whiff. Butterscotch. Caramel. So yeah, have crystal malt in that. It's, it feels like it's got crystal malt, malt in, in a way. Um, not picking that up in the uh, ingredients. But I'm going to go in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, I think there is a dried fruitness to it, plums, prunes, um, then you do pick up a butterscotchness there, a sweetness, um, I'm going again. It's not overtly bitter. You could say there's a slight metallicness to it. Only a hint. It feels very, very old, old school. Lots of caramel swimming around. But is it any good? Yeah, it still is half decent. Um, I haven't had it on cask, like I say, for years. So we're visiting this bottle of beer is um <laughs> it's like taking you back in a way um so overall it still stands up it definitely does um it's still a good beer available everywhere still as far as i know mouthfeel Smooth, slightly cream, clean, should I say. There's a slight pepperiness there. Pick up a hint of white pepper along the way. And yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's still good. It's still good. It's a still a good go to beer. Um, I've never done the canned version of this. I think I should. Um, I think I should do the canned version. Um, but overall, it's it's still st stacking up, even after all these years. It's very much a go-to beer, and um, you know, and I haven't mucked about with it. It still tastes in as enjoyable as what it was many moons ago. One more for the road. Hmm. Just as good. Black sheep ale. It's good gear. It's good gear. Thank you very much for watching this one. Um, see you all again on another beer review. It's good gear. Be looking at a smile. It's doing it. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Bip, bip.